Well, let's uh, show you the show you the bad and the ugly. Anyway, to get to this bearing was bad. You got to crawl into the hopper, and uh, it's inside the hopper. And then you open up the trap the door here. You can see it got open. You can see kind of the damage to the chain. Where it come off the sprocket. Now, right there is the bearing that went out. I'm not sure what what the story is of that thing, but that was just put in maybe two three years ago. But anyway, that's the story. Let me uh, keep pick it out. Get back with you. Well, today's the 27th of September, and uh, my last video. I thought a bearing had gone out on the feeder chain, back drive feeder chain, the main shaft. Well, after looking at it, we uh, found that the actual shaft is broke, broke like right in half, it's a two inch shaft. But anyway, we're starting, what we're planning on doing is we're gonna pull the rotor and we're gonna come in through that way to replace that, that shaft. So after we get the rotor out, let me go on the other side. We get the rotor out and then we, uh, the shaft, well, let me turn the light on here. There we go. The shaft comes through the other side. I took some of the belts or pulleys off already to, to start getting it pulled out. This is kind of at the point we're at. And I'm not sure if it's easier to go from the bottom, whoops, to replace it or from the back side, but I just picked the back side. But let's look at the, I got the new shaft. And uh, this is actually the shaft here. And it's a, it's a two inch shaft. <clears throat> and how that, it, when I get it out, I'll show you, but how it broke clean, I, I don't, I'm not sure how or what caused it. I sure didn't hit a rock or anything. But these are the new sprockets. One will go on there on the end, the other on the other end, and in the middle. The biggest thing I was told is they got to be timed. So when I, that's the reason I put this this pipe laid in here to make sure that they're t they're timed right. They got timing marks on them. If you see right there's a little mark, mark. So, so a couple of guys I talked to said that sometimes you'll get a whole new set, but they're they're not poured correctly or they're not the same. And it could be off like a quarter of a tooth. And that's what could maybe a possibly cause that shaft to break. Which, anybody got any feedback? I'm more than willing to listen, but these all go on one way except for the last one against the wall, it goes on back or opposite. So anyway, as we keep doing this job, we'll, uh, we'll keep taping it and maybe somebody could tell me a better way of doing the job or better ideas. But in the middle of soybean harvest, it's not a fun thing to be having a machine break down on you, <clears throat> especially when the uh, soybeans, they start getting dry, they start popping open on you and you lose your, so your bean on them. But anyway, we're trying to run with the R72 and keep going. But all right, like I said, I'll, as we keep going, I'll keep uh, taping this or videoing it. Might help somebody. Well, here's a little update. We finally got all the parts. What we did is we pulled the rotor out. We're going in through the, ro through the rotor hole and inside the grain bin. So we're just in the middle of putting the shaft back in and the sprockets. Let me walk around here. And <coughs> there's a new shaft going in. 
and the sprockets are already on there. So we got everything aligned. Like I said, when these go up, when these sprockets go on the shaft, they got to go on. in this order the inside bolts and set screws are on the inside toward the center of the machine this one here i was told doesn't really matter but this next time we did it i got this one flipped and then this one has to be backwards so you don't hit the wall so all right Keep picking away as we're going here. Let's take a look at this shaft a little more. Yeah, here's the broken head on the knife. Anyway, this is the shield that goes around the shaft right here to, to keep it from crop rotate or wrapping around it. But maybe somebody can uh, tell me this break here. Was that, is that a manufacturer break in, in the, in the metal, the way it broke clean? Or is that a defect? Maybe somebody can throw some comments out there. Or has anybody else ran across it? It sure is a, but then again, I get, the other thing is it might've been just rubbing against itself or self-clean but all right that's been uh, a little bit of brutalness here but we got them all up and running again so and today it's 60 mile an hour wind so we're shut down for today because of fires and what else could be going on all right throw some comments out there Tell me how this shaft could be possibly breaking like that. And we dumped the rock trap and there's nothing, no rocks or anything that went through. So, all right, thanks. Well, we finished up uh, soybeans. I guess I have done a video for a while. But we got the R75 put all back together. I'm not sure where our videos are all at. Or uh, anyway, we finished that soybeans up, and it's uh, Friday. I guess I'm not even sure of the date. Fourth, October fourth, I think. But anyway, we're moving on to the to the next field. This next field uh, is uh, Zach and Michael's. Some of the land they rent, and uh, we're getting to the tail end of this thing. Or we could put the uh, machines away and say another three, four days. No sunflowers this year, so we don't have to pretend with flowers. So see how it goes. All right, let's keep you updated. We took a well, here's a little nighttime uh, unloading. We set our tractor up with lights on it.